Started athletics when I was four years old um, in the tiny tots at Albion Park Little Athletics. Um, you know, my goal was to one day be an Olympian. Uh, to get there was a, a, a great achievement. Um, I, I qualified by, by winning the trials and uh, running uh, the A standard in Doha and um, everything was looking pretty good. The way the Olympics uh, ended up going in the end wasn't, I, I guess, the way I'd visioned it all my life. But, um, you know, as part of the sport, um, everything doesn't always work out the way you plan. So now I've got to go away and, you know, try and redeem myself. You know, I've got to get stronger. Um, I've, I've, um, I've kind of been pushed in and kind of stumbled in, in two races this year, once in Hobart and once in the, in the Olympic heat, and, and twice um, I've had calf tears. So I really need to go away and really strengthen up my calves. It's uh, my lower chain from all my injuries that I've, that I've ever had have been from my knees down, so um, I really need to address that area. And you know, I thought I have been. It's, it's the area that I've always worked on to try and strengthen up, but I still need more. Um, so I can really be um, durable and um, be able to get through all the, um, you know, I guess the hustle and bustle of these um, tactical championship races. Moved down to um, Ballarat in Victoria, um, living with Collis Birmingham and Brett Robinson. Um, Wollongong, where I uh, come from, is, is a great training location, great base. That's uh, where my family is, all my friends. But um, you know. I find when I come to places like Falls Creek, the thing that, um, there's the altitude, but the thing that really, um, I think, um, makes me improve is training with um, guys that are better than me. And um, I might be able to beat Collis and Brett at um, some shorter track workouts, but um, with the really long, hard grinding workouts that um, we do at this time of year, um, they're ahead of me. So um, it's great that, you know, I've got these guys to, um, you know, push me each day in training and, um, you know, hopefully, I guess by February and March, we'll see if it's worked out. But, um, you know, I've never been um, this aerobically fit in, uh, in December before. So, um, you know, hopefully it works out and hopefully um, vice versa as well. I think um, Brett and Collis have, will also, um, hopefully it should work out for them too. I'm not totally sure yet. I'd love to go back and race at... Um, the Hunter Track Classic in Newcastle. I've got a, um, got some family up there who um, they love accommodating me up there, and um, it's a race that um, you know all my friends and family can go see. And uh, I don't know if it will be. A, I don't know what's on the program yet. Three years ago, I, I uh, did an 800 there, and um, it kind of set me up really well for the rest of the year. I had a good year that year. So um, yeah, I'd love to go back and race the 800 if um, that's what uh, my coach Nick wants. Um, because yeah, like three years ago, it set me up perfectly. Just a fast 800, so um, the first few laps of the 1500s that um, had to come feels a bit easier. Well, the last two years, I've um, been knocked out in uh, the semi-final stages at the, the World Champs in 2011 and the Olympics 2012. So, you know, I really need to take that next step and um, start making a final. Um, that, that, that's the biggest goal, but the main thing is just to be you know, a lot more competitive in the races over in Europe. Um, instead of, I guess, finishing in positions of fifth to tenth, you know, you need to be first to fifth. Just, just really, um, you know, in the mix around the mark, and um, then hopefully, when it does get to the championships, I can be one of the factors and hopefully make that final.